Welcome aboard Virgin Voyage's newest ship, the Resilient Lady. In this video, we'll go from top deck down to show you what it's like on board. before people run us over because we are on the marathon track on deck 17 and it's also the photo op hot spot whenever you're not in the way of people who actually run deck 16 we have giant chess a basketball pickleball court several hot tubs lots of loungers and a, at least one or two bars per virgin voyages mandate basically and then on to deck 15 where we've got all the pools Deck 15 has two pools, several hot tubs, lots of loungers, and at least two bars as well. So that's where you go to hang out, cool down, and then see if you can get a sun bed. And if the gym is more your speed than the pool, we have this on deck 15 as well, followed by the galley where all the quick food is. Speaking of quick food, here's the quickest. Very on brand of them. But the quick grab and go things are called quickies. So, They've got things like charcuterie sandwiches, salads, all that kind of good stuff that you can just take with you anywhere on the boat. So Virgin does not have your typical buffet. Like you can go in and get anything you want. You can come in and see everything you want and then order from here with a wait staff who comes to your table and then they deliver it to you. So it's more casual than the sit down dining, but it is still table service. So we honestly can't decide if we like buffet vibe or the galley vibe better. It has pros and cons, because buffet gets crowded and hectic and kind of gross really fast, so quality of food here is better. But sometimes, especially as introverts, you just want to like tuck in and get a sandwich and <laughs> not talk to anyone <laughs> and find a little corner. But the food here is definitely better than a buffet. Also in the galley is a smaller version of the coffee shop, so you can get your iced coffees or your lattes, your fancier coffees, as well as the free coffees. Right past the galley, you'll find Gun Bay, the first Korean barbecue at sea. This is the only restaurant where you must be seated with other cruisers, but the staff make it easy to make friends quickly with themed games and group dining. Deck 14 through eight are all just cabins, so there's nothing like to do, but come see our room. So come on in, excuse the mess. We have definitely made ourselves at home this week. We have really, really enjoyed the cabin. The bed is comfy, but the balcony is our favorite part. Come see my favorite spot that I spend all of my time in is the hammock. It's more comfy than this, I promise, but I don't know how to get in it elegantly, so this is what you get. This ship will definitely turn you into an iPad kid. This is how you control just about everything in your room. You make the lights go darker, I can turn off the desk lamp, you can make the room hotter or colder, we want it as cold as possible all the time. You can make things spicy or photo shoot ready. Or my favorite is the Zen. It closes the blinds and makes everything blue. So on deck seven, they have a very interestingly named ice cream shop that does deliver free great cones. And behind us is the pizza place, well-named pizza shop. It's honestly okay, but it'll have a spot. Also on deck seven, we have, again, several different bar options. This one is the most beautiful, very elegant, the sip lounge, very like jazz club vibe. If you're more into a classic bar, beer pub situation, they have a draft house called the Draught House. I could be saying that wrong, but it's very pubby. Still deck seven, they've got the Grounds Club, which is the specialty coffee shop where you can get all your lattes and iced coffee drinks, which is much needed in Europe. They also have little pastries that are free, but the coffees are a little bit of a charge, but worth it. And right outside the coffee shop, they have these little darlings. They don't move, but they're very cute. And also right outside of the coffee shop, you have the game room full of tons of games and plenty of space to play. We've been playing Bananagrams here a lot.
On deck six, there are several beautiful shops, and it's called the High Street because British based company. It's some good shopping. Also on deck six, there's another beautiful bar, and there's a lot of stuff going on here, especially Scarlet Night. And this is where you start to get off the galley. You check in your band, and then they'll take you from there. Also, deck six, you have the casino, which you can use from your band. You don't need cash, you just have to activate it first. I'm personally partial to the penny slots if I'm gonna do anything, but uh, I think I'd rather save my money this go around. I'm not spending much time here, but I do love, it is absolutely remarkable that this is a no smoking casino. There's only very specific spots on the where you can smoke, and the casino is not one of them. One of the most beautiful restaurants on the ship is The Wake, and it's like American Steakhouse style with the best brunch. This is our favorite brunch on the ship. Make sure to make a reservation because it does look up pretty quick, but it's absolutely beautiful. Test Kitchen was our favorite experience on board, and as long as you're not a picky eater, we think you'll love it too. The entire dining room was meticulously curated to give you the ultimate experience of taste testing the newest and most innovative drinks and dishes. Extra Virgin is the ship's upscale yet relaxed Italian restaurant on board, which does not miss a beat. We love the design and the classic yet elevated menu options. Make your reservations early for this one, it's popular for good reason. After dinner, meander down the deck to the Red Room, but the shows are well produced, but certainly lean into the ship's adults only vibe. On deck five, what Brazzle Dazzle lacks in meat options, it certainly makes up for in flavor and pizzazz. The ship's only primarily vegan restaurant does have a few carnivorous options to choose from, but for us, it made for a perfect healthy brunch spot. Pink Agave is the ship's Mexican restaurant, which can be found right past sailor services. While we love Mediterranean food while sailing through Europe, Pink Agave makes for the perfect alternative for spicy and delicious dishes to mix things up. And down on deck four is tender boarding where you'll get on and off the ship. On days where you have to take a tender to the port, you'll first meet up with your allocated boarding time on deck six, then all go down to deck four together. If no tender is needed and you can go straight to the land, you can go out at almost any time. We thoroughly enjoyed our week sailing with Virgin Voyages. This ship really had it all. We loved not having to think about tips and counting up totals because of Virgin's inclusive pricing structure. If you consider yourself a very bashful or conservative person who's looking for a wholesome family vacation, this cruise might not be on brand for you. But if you look forward to a week of relaxing, celebrating, maybe getting a little rowdy and enjoying luxury at sea, we'd highly recommend sailing with Virgin. Head to andrewandkate.com for our cruise packing guide and a full review of our experience. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.